Final Fantasy. When we last left off, we had rescued the princess, and the bridge has been built for us to continue on our journey. Now, there is a person in town that I did not talk to that will tell you about uh, the witch after you have saved the princess. But, we did not talk to her, but just from playing this game before, I know about her, so we'll go see the witch now. Go and get our ship. We'll be seeing some new enemies soon. I'm really excited about playing through all these games. I'm hoping. see her before you go find the crystal for her, but i just like to go ahead and take care of that. Um, we're going to go ahead and use some magic here. I don't really know how long this will go with the ogre. We fought some creeps on her that we have not fought an ogre yet. to level up, uh, level up my team here. Okay. 
they were able to take more damage than Judder Troy. I assume if you watched this video, you watched the last one, so if you see me selecting specific enemies, it's because they do not automatically attack the next enemy available to attack in this game. Uh, I explained it a little bit in the last video. Make sure everybody's even by just restarting where I was. I've 
just have to deal with the fact that uh, the levels are going to get a little bit off now. saying it brings up this map. So we'll flash in dots through the different towns, I believe, or entrances to places. I do not think I can make it through three of these. I hope we run away successfully. Alright, we're at the town. We can bring Nate back. I feel like the top two spots get attacked the most. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but whenever I play it, that's how I feel, so I want to make sure my magic users are towards the bottom there. Alright, let's play it again. Alright, we have enough for a magic spell actually still, but we're not going to get a magic spell yet. We are going to go ahead and fight the pirates.
Yeah, we should be good to fight these guys. This should not be a problem. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, I'll bring you more older games, newer games, uh, as much as I get the opportunity to. Um, hope you're enjoying this series and I look forward to bringing you more Final Fantasy. Hello my friends, welcome back to Final Fantasy. I believe I'm cutting this together with the last video I did. So we are leaving Provoka now. I have gone and leveled up some and I've gotten money, so I've bought all the spells in Provoka, I have bought the armor in Provoka, so I am all set, and so we are going to head on out. Now I may have adjusted the sound between the last video and this one, so if I do cut those together, I apologize for it sounding strange, but I feel the game volume may have been too high. I just wanted to lower it a little bit, so hopefully we'll be able to hear it just fine. You do get new enemies here in the water, like the sharks and sea hags. And some of them are pretty tough. But it's good for experience, it's good for money. Now what I did to get money quicker is I took the ship over to the dock near Matoya's cave and went up to the cave and I would you have to go through that bridge to get there you go under the bridge go to Matoya's cave and you can get lots of uh, money if you fight the ogres there they have more money so I would look around for them and fight I would fight other things I had to fight while I was there and I did have to end up buying some uh, I think it's pure 
that uh, takes poison away. I had to do that because there were some asps there and they poisoned me. We're pretty good to go right now on everything though. As far as our magic and our weapons, I'm not... I think the max you can carry of potions and things is 9 in this game. I'm not maxed out on that, but... I think I'll be okay if I'm not. We might go ahead and pop here into uh, Corneria and get the... That stuff uh, maxed out though, while we're here. And we'll go ahead and take a stop at the end there, since it's the cheapest end in the game. Now, I did have some characters die while I've been playing, so they haven't, so the levels are not uh, leveling up at the exact same time. But, that's okay. I think everybody's at level 6 now. Everybody is above 100 HP now, which is good. Oh wow, those guys give a lot of gold. It's unfortunate I didn't <laughs> run into them uh, when I was looking around before. I would have just fought them for gold. When your characters die, you come to this house with the heart on it to revive a dead character. When they get revived, they only have one health point left when, they, when they're revived, so it's important to revive them and then go to the end to heal up. Let's buy some more heal potions, and yeah, it's pure. The pure potion gets rid of poison. may have been wrong about how many heal pull potions you can carry at a time. Okay, you can go, okay, so you can probably do 99 potions. I was wrong. I don't know why I was thinking you could carry less than that in this game. 12 is a good place to be on that right now. Another thing, and I'll just show you real quick as I get back on the ship. There is a secret hidden game you can play in this. Uh, so if you are, you have to get the ship first and when you're on the ship, if you press B and A together, and I'm doing it right now, if you press them together 55 times, I think it's 55. I'm not counting, but eventually it'll pop up. There we go. So you get this uh, game, you've probably played a game like this before where you slide things around to make a picture or in this case you slide to get the numbers in order. If you do this and finish the game, you get 100 gold every time you finish it, but it's really not worth trying to get gold doing this. It's uh, it's free, you don't have to fight, but it takes more time to try to get money this way than it does to just go out and fight in the world. And you can just leave that by pressing B. All right, so we are out in the world now. Now these character, these enemies can stun you, but it eventually wears off. For example, uh, two of my characters are stunned right now, which they are my strongest fighters, so uh, I'm probably going to have to use some magic here to take care of these quicker. Because if everybody gets par if everybody gets stunned, I think it's a uh, game over. So they're not worth a lot of experience, but they can cause a lot of pain for your your party. I believe I have to go down south of this continent to get to where I'm headed, if I'm not mistaken. So this little field over here, you can go to, I believe, to try to. Um, Get money and level up quick. I think there's ogres over there.
All right, so here we go. Now this is where the elf prince is, uh, who is sleeping. And I, I talked about him a little bit before. Um, he's the person who has the key. Um, so, I'm in the right place. I'm just taking a quick look at the book. Uh, there, there are level 3 and level 4 spell, spells in Elfland here. Spells, what am I saying? Spells here in Elfland. Our weapons. Got some new uh, weapons here that we can get for some of our characters. And that silver sword would be nice. It's very expensive. Alright, so... We know we want the Iron Nunchuck for Nate, and we want probably to get the Large Dagger for Judd. Get the, now, Judd can also use the Iron Staff, but he can also use the, the Daggers. Um, actually, I'll probably get a Staff for him. I feel like the the Daggers really, uh, they, they do less damage. They do have a higher hit percentage though, so maybe I will get the dagger for him. Now would the saber be good for my fighter? Right now he has the short sword. The saber is worse than the short sword, so I do not want the saber. I do want the silver sword, um, but that's going to be a little bit, because that's pretty expensive. We can go ahead and get some of these though, so let's go ahead and get the Iron Nunchucks for Nate. Let's go ahead and get the Iron Staff for Troy. I think. Stop with that for right now on weapons. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Troy cannot use that. Judd can't use it. That's surprising. I, for some reason, I thought they could use that. I'll hold on to it for now. We'll sell those wooden things. Maybe it's just a. I misread this, maybe. I don't know. That's uh, interesting. Alright. We're going to go ahead and sell the wooden nunchucks. They're not worth a lot, but I just want to get them out of my inventory. Here's some black magic here. So these are level 3 spells, they're 1500. And I believe that up there is the white level 3 spells. Graves. This is a reference to Dragon Quest, I believe. One day I'll have to try to play through those games. I've never actually played the Dragon Quest games. Real, I've, I've played them, but I've never really gotten anywhere in them. I've played like the beginning of it a little bit, but one day I'll try to play through it. So they tell you about the Dark Elf here in France. Here's the armor. Prices on these are pretty high. Um, might be able to go ahead and get an iron shield. I have the iron armor. So let's see who can use what according to this. Um, so obviously the fighter will use the iron can use the iron shield. Everybody can use the copper bracelet, so I do want to get four of those, which is going to be a lot of money. 
the wooden helmet can only be used by the fighter, knight, and ninja, and the fighter already has that. Um, the cap, I think anybody can use, so I might get some caps for my characters. We did find a cap in the first section of the game, if you remember. And yeah, it looks like everybody can use that. Except for the black belt. So both my mages can use the cap. So I will get another cap. Um, probably before I get the iron shield. So let's go ahead and get that. Or Judd, because I don't think you have a cap. Alright. Good. So we're getting some armor for our characters. Yeah, I have a wooden shield, so I do need that shield, which isn't isn't too expensive. But all the other stuff is. So we're going to work on getting our levels up. And I, you know, if I looked at that right, we are level 6. So we're going to go out there and fight a bunch of uh, ogres and get our levels up there. This, so we can buy houses here, which is good, and soft, which cures you if you are turned to stone. Astos is who we're going to see soon. And he's in that Northwest Castle, so we do have to go there next. We are going to go see the Prince first, who's sleeping. There's nothing else out here except that one one guy to talk to. There's our level four spells. So those are four thousand. I think we learned pure and um, maybe that one. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I believe that's the one that cures uh, characters from being. Uh, muted where they can't say spells. Once I have the money though, when we come and look at the spells, we'll figure out what we're buying. I know we're getting Ice 2 for him, and probably Fast. Those are the only two spells we're probably getting level 4. Fast speeds up characters you cast it on so that they can attack quicker. And they do more damage. Actually, I think they just do more attacks in one go. So it does more damage, which is good. Yeah, once we get that key, we have some places to go back to because we need to open locked doors and get the stuff there. So here's the sleeping prince. Need the herb, which I believe we get from Matoya, after we give her her uh, crystal so she can see again. So even if you didn't have a guide for this game, the characters you talk to give you good clues about where you need to go and what you need to do. As opposed to a game like Castlevania 2, where the characters don't really tell you what you need to know. Now to get over here, you just gotta walk around the outside. And you'll get up here to these locked doors that you need the key for. We will get that mystic key. Let's go ahead and go to the castle to the northwest first and then we will come back to do our grinding which I won't do on video but I'll come back to do that but I want to go talk to the guy there first because he wants us to find his crown so we'll go ahead and get the quest from him although you don't have to go see him first you could just go get it but We'll go uh, explore this land a little bit, and I'll show you that place. There's a bit of a trek to get there. Well, like I say, ogres give you good gold, so these are good to fight. They're also really good for experience, so... 
will fight plenty of them as I'm trying to level up. I don't remember all the enemies that we're going to encounter here in this area, so it'll be interesting to see what enemies we run into. I guess this really is good to just get gold from those uh, pirate guys we ran into. They gave us a lot of gold. But I don't seem to run into them that often on the sea. While I fight my way to the northeast, I'll, uh, I'll try to... <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. My way to the northwest, I'll edit this down some, so you don't have to watch all these battles. Well, I might leave them in just because we'll probably run into some new enemies, so... I don't want to completely edit everything out. I just want to edit out when I'm trying to grind, so we'll leave this in. Why not? I'm, I'm thinking it's a long trek this way, though. But you can just see the journey I have to go on. I believe down there, on the other side of that mountain, is where the caves are that I have to go in to look for the crown that I'm about to have to go look for. But we won't be doing that till I level up some, and probably till I get all the weapons I want in the town and the magic. At least the level 3 magic, so... That's not going to happen just yet. I kind of like to hold back on using spells since I only have them sparingly to use, so that's why I'm not using a lot of Judd's magic uh, here. We will probably be using Troy's to heal up. Nate's getting a little low on life. So we can do that right now. He only has two more spells, so we can use some of our heals here. not taking a lot of damage. He, uh, as a fighter, has the best armor, so he has the best ability to defend right now. But all our characters are powerful in their own ways, especially our mages are going to get really, really strong when they get the mo most powerful spells. The reason I play with a black mage and a white mage is because when they become the white wizard and the black wizard, um, they can get the best spells in the game. And the red mage, even though he can use white and black magic, the red mage cannot get those highest level spells. So I like to go ahead and play with a black mage and a white mage. Now these are the guys that will poison my characters, so hopefully that won't happen. But if it does, I have the pure potions. Yep, I'm going to need to use it. I'll wait till after the fight, and then I'll have to reorganize the party because it's going to switch Ryan and Troy's place while he's poisoned. They give decent money. Because Ryan is able to take the most damage, I put him at the top because the fighter is, uh, the whoever's at the top, I believe, gets attacked the most. So it's helpful for him to be able to take that damage.
I might try to do a playthrough sometime with four fighters. I think I mentioned doing that before. I don't know if I've ever watched anyone play through with four uh, white mages. <laughs> I think that's the most difficult you can make the game for yourself. It's possible, I'm sure, but I'd hate to try to pull that off. If you're ever wondering, there's the castle I'm going to, if you're ever wondering how you're doing while I'm leveling up, you can look at your status, it'll tell you how many points you need for your next level. Also tells you what, I never really pay attention to this, but it'll tell you your strength, your agility, your intelligence, your vitality, and your luck. And all sorts of other information, how much damage you do, how much you absorb, hit percentage. Alright, so here's the castle. I don't think there's any fights in here, except for later on. But there's some bats. Uh, those chests down there in that room, you have to have the key to get in there. So we'll come back to that. So he wants you to go south to the Mar Cave of Marsh, retrieve the crown, and bring it back to him. So somebody in the town tells you about him and this castle. You come up here to the castle, he tells you to get his crown. So these are all things you have to do to progress. Um, and I like how it's all set up. So we are going to go to that cave. I believe we just go right there and around to get to it. Or you can cut through here, I believe. But before we do that, we're going to go level up some. So I will come back in the next video and we will go through the cave. Hope you're enjoying this uh, Final Fantasy series. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be bringing you more video game content soon. Have a great day.